Welcome. This is Jordan and Kristen, your Artlet coordinators for this school year. Um, we thought we would try something new this month uh, for training and overview of our featured artist and our project. Okay, our featured project or our featured artist this month is Rembrandt and he is a Dutch Baroque painter and etcher and we are going to do uh, the project for this month will be an etching project um, and we'll be using some scratch paper with the kids to make the art um and so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be giving you um in the email three slides um one is the presentation and then two will be the art project um the first one with the art with the project, the presentation part, um, the, you'll see on the first slide that Rembrandt, um, Rembrandt, we have three videos. I love that the dogs dog, in the background going crazy. Going. Um, we have three videos. The first one is more of kind of an overview of his life. The second one is maybe more appropriate for kindergarten and second, kindergarten first and maybe second grade. It's a little bit more of a cartoon. Um, and then the third little link is for a book that you could play at the end of the whole presentation and after the hands-on art when kids are kind of done doing their work. And it's a book all about Rembrandt. It's just a read aloud. And so for those first two videos, you're welcome to play whichever one resonates with you and that you think your class class would like. Yeah. All right. So the art elements and principles for this month are going to be value, line, contrast, and emphasis. And they are on slide four, uh, the descriptions of those were um, if you want to read about what that means. And what I've done is right in the main slide, I've put questions that you can just ask the kids, such as, do you see this? Do you see lightness? Do you see darkness? And each one of the questions goes along with the elements and principles. Down in the bottom notes area is where it describes um, more collegiate level what the art elements and principles are. So you could read through those. And then, of course, once we've wrapped up uh, talking about the life of Rembrandt and going through the elements and principles, then the final step is to actually take a look at his art. And we've uh, found uh, three examples of his art that is specifically etching. And so those are included there. Um, Kristen's done a great job of um, putting descriptions down in uh, the notes field with things that you may want to highlight um, to the class and questions that you can ask them as they're looking at the art. So you're welcome to show all three or pick one or two that you know you, you think your class would like. Um, and then you can move on to the hands-on project. Okay, so again, for the hands-on project, we have two separate slides, one for K2 and one for 3-5. The K2 um, group is gonna be doing sketch art on the tulip and um, just so you're aware this is scratch paper and it all will be white underneath um, but the tulip project um, is for the younger kids and we will have an easy thing that they can already trace over they don't have to do that on their own you'll see more when you watch and then the three five is um, a project about windmills um, and they get to create their, the three, grades three through five get to create their own windmill in whatever shapes they want using a few techniques. But the neat thing is, is that this month we <laughs> did videos for you. So all you have to do is click on the instructional video. You get to watch my hand doing <laughs> something. So be nice to me. I'm not the best artist. Um, but you get to watch us doing it and then, um, and the kids get to watch how it's going to be. And then, um, I have a slide afterwards that says, um, the step-by-step -step so that you can post that up after the video is being watched instead of pausing the video every 10 seconds. 
Yeah, so we would highly recommend that you go through and watch the tutorial art project video for whichever grade your classroom is in, just to sort of see it. Um, and if you want to um, do a practice run, do we have some extra materials? We do. So you yeah. can go to the art lit closet. We'll leave them out on the counter. And so if you just wanna do a quick run through to get a feel for it, you're welcome to do that. Um, and don't hesitate to reach out to Kristen or I. Uh, if you have any questions. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The carts are almost ready. Um, they should be ready tomorrow. Um, and they have all the supplies that you will need in them. And they have um, folders that say grade three, five or grade one, two. So just please make sure that you're refreshing or restocking the carts after your um, presentation so that the next group is just ready to come in and roll with everything that they have and I have it clearly labeled in the art lit closet where the extras of these things are where the extras of the other stuff is so thank you so much let us know if you have any questions <laughs>